Everything is on the line today. This kind of determines my future. What stands between you and the top 16 is just one obstacle. A mystery box of great proportions. Go and take a position at the bench. I'm excited to do a mystery box challenge. Hi guys. I'd love to make it into the house. It's about uh, just making sure you do your best. I was hoping for something a bit easier, such as knife skills. I would love for this mystery box to have probably beef or lamb. Those are my favourites. So you can now take a peek under your mystery box. <laughs> Jemima, what do you think you've got in front of you? I've got a chicken breast and some other poultry, but I'm not sure what type. Right. Interesting. I've never really cooked with any other poultry, so I'm a bit nervous, but I'm glad there's chicken because that's something I can do. There's duck, there's quail, and another funny-looking piece of meat, and it's sort of like, what is, what is that? So, here's the game plan. You've got a duck breast, you've got a chicken breast, you've got a pigeon breast, and you've got the quail breast. You can use them all, or you can use just one. But what we want is a really spectacular dish from you. It's poultry, and it's like a weight off my shoulders. Like, I've cooked it before, I feel confident with it. It's in my comfort zone for what the stage we're at at the moment. I thought, I'm gonna go with the chicken. I've never cooked pigeon before. <laughs> now you have an hour to cook and to plate. There are some staple ingredients under your benches, but there is also a selection of wonderful ingredients from the My Food Bag stash right there. And you can dip in and out of that as the challenge progresses. Straight away, I know what I'm going to cook. I need to find out what's in the food bag, but I'm hoping for certain ingredients. So guys, there's everything over here from chocolate to turnips. So get creative. OK? We want extraordinary dishes. Give us something that we will remember, OK? Convince us. An hour to make for us the best of the breast. And don't forget what's at stake here, guys. Half of you will be going home today. I don't want to go home. I want to continue this culinary challenge. Make sure you cook well enough to be part of the top 16. No pressure, right? I've got a million ideas in my head at the moment and I really need to channel my thoughts. It's quite different than being at home and just looking in the fridge and trying to decide what to cook. At the end of the day, if I've cooked my heart out and I've given 100%, then the dish will speak for itself. So your time starts now. I've decided to do duck with a bubblegum squeak. I've done duck before, I'm not going to lie, when I did that it was a bit rich, so I'm definitely, you know, going through my head, what can I do to make it not so rich? People might underestimate me a bit, because I'm only 21 and I only work in a fish and chip shop, but I definitely love food so much that all I think about every single day when I'm working in the fish and chip shop is new things to try when I get home for dinner. Winning MasterChef will just be my absolute dream. Like, every time I watch it, I'm like, I can do that, I want to do that, and I'm going to do that. You got quite good knife Yeah, skills. I was going to say, no, nice, nice little show pretty, off there, Yeah, Shannon. yeah, pretty handy with your knife. Good job. Have you been practising? Oh, my gosh, Josh and Al just said, I have good chopping skills, that's pretty awesome. I'm still thinking in the process of what exactly is going to go on the plate. We've got to bring it A-game today, so hopefully everything works out. Got a 50% chance of getting in and everybody wants it and they are very capable, so it needs to be my best food. I'm quite thrown not having an oven. When I saw the poultry, I was instantly taken to doing a pilaf, um, but without an oven to actually brown it off, it really changes the game for me. It's both surreal but a dream being here. Um, the last few years haven't been easy with deaths in, in the family. Mum passed away about two years ago. Um, you know, I know Mum's up there and um, she's, she'll be looking down today and um, I'm really hoping to do her proud. Well, she might go with the duck and the pigeon together. 
and just try to keep it really earthy flavours. I'll be trying to use my advantage uh, with my knowledge of protein. My name is Richard Harris. I live in Cheviot, North Canterbury, and I'm a butcher. I've always been passionate about food, but when I was younger, it wasn't the thing to do to become a chef, and I sort of felt like I missed out. I'd like to prove to myself that I'm capable of doing it, and I'm hoping that some people would see me sort of as a, a role model, but it's not too late in life. I might change it halfway through, but I don't know. <laughs> Got so many things going through my head right now. I've never cooked duck breast before. I kind of want to take the skin completely off and deep fry the skin so they're almost like um, crispy little deep fried balls of beautiful goodness. My name's Hayley Bilton and I live in Papamoa and I'm a territory manager for Frugal Beverages. I'm doing this for my family and my nana that's passed away. She's definitely had the biggest influence on me. I'd spend days in the kitchen with her. Competing on MasterChef is one of the biggest things that I've ever done in my life. I've had to really weigh up, am I prepared to sort of leave everything to follow this dream? And I know that my nana would be proud. It's all very scary and surreal. Five minutes in, I still don't really know what I'm doing. Um, can't see anything that will help me to flatten this out. Ten minutes is already gone. All right, ten minutes is gone. I'm just going to construct all this chicken. I think I'm going to roll it up uh, with the quail and with the pheasant and with the duck. I want to try and use everything up. I am originally from Zimbabwe. Managed to keep myself to New Zealand when I was uh, 18, going on 19 for the university, and I've been here since. Look at that. <laughs> I know that I've got a number one fan, and that's my mum. My dad passed away when I was about six years old, so mum was quite busy, and I took great pleasure in actually cooking for my family. It was quite nice to be able to say to mum when she got home, I've cooked uh, dinner tonight. I think it would be absolutely marvellous if I came first, second, or third. Hopefully I do well, and um, I go week by week and get as far as I can. It's the first time for everything, but hopefully it comes out right. How are you going, Peter? I'm um, a little lost without an oven. How can you make an oven with what you've got here? Um, only by covering yeah. um, and, uh, and, and paper. A little bit of a Dutch oven, you know. Yeah, uh, it's something it? you can yeah. think, you know, and that's yeah. what it's about. It's about on the fly, it's okay. about thinking, Indeed. you know, right, you can you. keep the heat round it. Yep, all right, I'll give it a go. Great. I'm feeling frustrated that I can't collect my thoughts and think what to do with uh, quite a large number of really great ingredients. Bravo. Hello, how are you? Is your head in the game? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna cook some pasta with nicely salad and, um, and the protein will be the chicken breast. So right. I'm gonna nicely marinate it. You make, you're making your own pasta? Yes, I'm making my own pasta. Yes. Browsers. Yes. And you decided this how long ago? I just did. <laughs> just now, now. so you've <laughs> turned around? Okay. I turned around, yeah. Confident man? Yes, yes, definitely. I'm thinking of a nice, clean salad dish called Birds of a Feather. From the very beginning, I have a vision plated in a very modern way. I'm feeling very confident. It is about using your time wisely. Chicken's going to take, you know, at least probably 20 minutes to cook nicely, slowly, you know? Mm. But the others are pretty quick cooked. Yeah, that's right. Timing is actually a big part of this challenge because you can't go too early but you also want them to rest a little bit. Um, but they are relatively quick to cook. Everyone, 15 minutes have gone. That leaves 45 to go. 45 to go. I'm going to make my own pasta. This is the skill that I want to show to the judges, you know. I'm using the canola like I would use rice, and I'm going to poach the chicken breast. I've also put the duck fat in there to give it a bit of extra flavour. Don't have a lid. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm actually quite struggling, so this is looking tough. I really don't feel pressured, I feel more frustrated and really just mentally blocked. Can't find my duck skin. Oh my god, don't tell me I've checked out the duck skin. Uh, main component of my dish. It's okay, it's just with the beetroot. It's nothing like picking something out of the bin, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, that certainly isn't the bin. OK, guys, that is 30 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go. OK, make this last half hour count, guys. Give us something great. Yes, there we go. Now she's cooking. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, Peter. Um, I'd like to pull out... 
I feel frustrated and really just mentally blocked. Because I really don't want to dish something up to you that is not going to be something that I, I would, would eat or serve to, to myself or to my guests. I've tried, I've exhausted the options at this point and it's really frustrating. I do want to walk out at this point. I am totally surprised that Peter threw his hands up in the air because that's not the Peter I know. You, you know, you, you're better than that. You gave us an amazing dish. Yeah, no, I know you, that. You were that close to be sitting over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But um, I'm just in the block, so I just feel I can't be creative. This is your but master chef dream. I know, this is what... I know it is my dream, but it's obviously not my time. This is what Master Chef is no, all about. Know, Every single that. challenge yeah, yeah, is going to be. This is, a, this is a reasonably easy one to tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, you're going to have challenge after yeah, challenge no, after no, challenge. No, no, like obviously, this. not having an it's, oven. It's either just not for you. Well, it's not about it the could, oven because it's either for you or it's not well, for you. Well, it could be. What if I told you to cook something? What if I said I want you to cook some shiitake mushrooms with some duck breasts? Okay. All right. I've got to keep going at that point. 